YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with some more Washington Commanders breaking news. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Uh, let's get straight into today's video. So before we do that, actually, I want to say, soak it in, ladies and gentlemen. Now your boy is going to be forced to have to make a new intro. going to have to be forced to change the outro because of the Taylor Heineke departure. So soak it in. Uh, we're going to be using it a little bit longer as I because I wasn't expecting to uh have to change however I, that's 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 on me because i should have like prepared myself because i knew it was a possibility that he wouldn't have been back but i wasn't thinking that was gonna be the case so now your boy gotta make a new intro so bear with me in due time something new will pop up on your screen for your intro and outro but i told you i told you keep them post notifications turned on because we got a lot of news we got a lot of news so the washington commanders they are making significant changes to the coaching staff. As we know, we already have brought in a ton of different coaches to be the pitcher. Um, uh, um, let's see. We brought in some new uh, the new DBs coach. We're still trying to learn their names and stuff like that. Um, and Chris Harris, he, he's gone now. Uh, and, and Drew Terrell. So we got a new wide receivers coach and all that. And new DBs coach, new quarterbacks coach. Uh, uh, let's see, Richard Rodgers is now the senior assistant, uh, 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 senior defense assistant. Um, we got a lot of uh, changes. Christian Garcia, assistant defensive back coach. Bobby Ingram, wide receivers coach. Reggie Howard um, and Shane Toop. So it was a lot of shifting. Ken Zampezi moved up and a lot of new faces. And it continued today as the Washington Commanders announced that they will be moving on from uh, offensive line coach John Masco. Okay, and uh, this is no surprise. Um, John Masco is a, is, a real, is a solid offensive line coach, but as we know, the line took a massive, massive decline last year. And uh, to me, it wasn't really his fault. It was more so injuries and then, players just not fitting in our scheme now you could say he plays a part in that you know not filled in the right players but not so much because again he is but so much he could teach them right he can teach them all he wants but he can't go out there and play for them so it's so much that could be on him for these guys performance um I definitely uh, miss Bill Callahan for sure because, you know, Bill Callahan, it didn't matter what we put out there, uh, he, he he got the job done. And that's kind of how it was with John Masco at first. Um, John Masco, it was like anything, any combination we put out there, John Masco had them boys ready to play. And that's how I felt coming into this season. That's why I was so fine with letting Brandon Sheriff walk. And, yeah, Eric Flowers one bit me a lot. Like, I really wanted him back. But I was even, like, okay with not having him because I'm like, all right, we, we got some new replacements and I got faith in John Masco to coach these boys up, right? And again, it didn't happen that way. It didn't happen that way. And Ron is now really realizing that this could be it for him. This could be it. So he has no time to be nice if I if if I may if I may if I may say it that way. No time to um, look out for his guys anymore because you know he's releasing a lot of these Panthers coaches that he brought in with him and you know Sam Mills now John Masco and others if he had this same mentality coming straight in 2020 we would probably be in a way better state if I'll be honest because now Ron here he feels the pressure the clock is ticking he hears the noise. He knows this year is is it. He has to do something this year. And if that doesn't happen, then he's gone. So he's making all these significant changes. And not to mention, uh, Eric Bienemy. He had a. He, I'm pretty sure he had a big reason as to why this change happened. Because again, he is now the offensive coordinator, and he is also the assistant head coach. And Ron Rivera is giving him 
full, full control of offense, offensive side of the ball. So coaching staff, personnel, all up to Airbnb. And this was an Airbnb decision. He wanted to bring in his guys, which I'm not mad at at all. Tavita Pritchard, one of his guys. So I don't know at this current moment who we're going to replace John Masco with, but we'll I'll keep my, my ears open. As you guys know, I'll report on the news when I get it. Let me go ahead and go to Twitter actually while we're live to see if there's any more updates on uh on on the move. Um but let's see what they uh what they have to say. Um, see if JP Finley posted anything about the move besides him just uh getting released uh, or getting them moving on from him. Uh, I don't see much. Um, but yeah, man. So Washington making significant changes to the coaching staff, adding more players. Um, this is this is the year that we have to actually do something. Now, again, as you guys know, last year for me was the year where I thought Washington. Like was gonna make that stride, and we didn't do that for for numerous reasons. And coaching was was a big problem. Now it wasn't John Masco; it was it was more so like Ron Rivera, Scott Turner. But you see what Ron Rivera is doing now. He's getting rid of the guys that he that he bought him with. So I'll do my homework. I just wonder because it just came out. I just wanted to get you guys the quick news, but I'll do my homework on um. On some guys that we could possibly be interested in to replace him. I would venture to say it is probably going to be a Kansas City Chiefs, like former former Chiefs background, or just a former guy that has some type of uh connection with Eric the Enemy. Um, and, and we'll we'll figure out who who is gonna replace him with. But hopefully, whoever it is, they can come in, get this offensive line back right. And I and it's crazy because like a lot of the problem with the offensive line, again, like I said, was not even coaching. To me, it wasn't. Maybe maybe y'all peeped something that I didn't, um, but to me, it wasn't coaching. It was just health and, and players not being in our being able to fit our scheme and fit what we what we want to run. You know, we're kind of like an elusiveness kind of offense, a finesse offense, and we didn't have the guards. The, the offensive line that, that can that fits that. Andrew Norrell can't move. Trey Turner couldn't move. But the kind of offense that we ran, we needed guys like that. We needed guys that, that was flexible and uh you know able to move downfield and pull, you know, get out in front of those screens, get out in front of those um runs on the edge, pull around the corner. You know, um, and we didn't have that, and that was, but that's the kind of scheme. Yeah, so it was a, it was a mix. It was a miss. It was a misconnection with with replacing Brandon Sheriff and Eric Flowers. Um, so again, I, I definitely don't think John John Masco is bad at all. Um, I don't think he's gonna be out of work that long either, because again, twenty twenty one, this offensive line was pretty darn good. Um, and I. Wouldn't put so much of the, the failure on him, uh, John Masco. I mean, obviously, again, like I said, he plays a part in it because he had, um, you know, he is the coach and he has to coach these guys. And he has say in a way to be like, oh, no, nah, they don't fit my scheme. But then again, it's also like he has to he's not he's not the guy that calls a shot. So he has to deal with what with, with with what he has has to make the best of it. And. I felt like he did, and it was, but it was so much he could do because it was so many injuries. Trey Turner injury, Andrew Norwell, Wes Schweitzer, Chase Rulier, Tyler Larson, Sam Cosme, Charles Leno, and then like they, the, um, Sam Cosme in and out of the lineup. Not Charles Leno, uh, Sam Cosme in and out of the lineup. Sadiq Charles not even playing, but always hurt. So we was thin at depth. And our starters were getting uh, getting banged up, so it was it was but so much he could do. So, yeah, there you have it, man. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. Uh, John Masco is now uh, leaving Washington. They're moving on. They're going to go in a different direction at the uh, uh, at the offensive line coach in position. 
So I'll keep you guys updated when I find out more of who we hire. Lastly, the New York Giants just, just traded for Darren Waller. <laughs> I wasn't going to add that in there, but I was like, why not? They traded for Darren Waller. Ah, that stings, man, because Darren Waller is really good when he's healthy. But this division ain't, ain't, getting, ain't getting no easier. So we got to keep making moves. But, yeah, man, let me know guys about this video in the comment section down below. As always, me, boy, Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Those are the Washington Commanders. Hit that subscribe button, man. We're on the road to 6K. See you guys next time. I'm out. Pitch. Uh, Cross me one time. That's going to get you pop. Get you pop. Uh, get you